What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acres Scuba Marina. I want to make a quick video on how I utilize the Ocean Reef dual tank valve. A lot of you guys have been asking how do I actually use it in my gear, how do I set it up. Now primarily what I use it for is public safety diving. I use it as an alternate air source uh, system for me when I do public safety diving. Now one of the things that I do, whether it's PSD work or it's salvage work, is it's solo diving. I do a ton of solo diving. And in that situation, I don't really have a buddy there for an alternate air source. And of course, I do carry an alternate air source that via a pony system. However, I don't really want to have to take off that full face mask. Maybe I'm in a hazmatic environment. Maybe I'm in a cold water environment. And I want to be able to switch a gas supply. Now, in the past, I showed you an option with the Ocean Reef system where you could put a secondary or an alternate air source directly in through another second stage but you're gonna to have to run an inline tool or inline shutoff tool to do that so that you're not actually breathing from both uh, air sources at the same time. Well, for me, I choose the dual tank valve because I do a lot of solo PSD work and solo salvage work. And basically, all I do is run both air supplies. I've got an air supply from my primary tank going in and I've got an air supply from my alternate air source going in. Now, both of mine are on quick disconnect. So for hose routing purposes, gearing up purposes, it's very easy for me just to disconnect that hose, snap it right back in. And I have it oriented so I know which one is which when I'm wearing it. And basically, and I'm gonna put this on here in a minute and show you just how easy it is to um, manipulate it when you're wearing it. But the way I have it configured now is I know if it's in the top position, I'm breathing off my primary air source. If it's in the bottom position, I understand that I'm breathing off an alternate air source, whatnot. But basically from the dual tank valve here, I've got a another quick disconnect that runs up around my neck and directly into the full face mask itself. And once again, it's quick disconnect, so I can very easily change air sources or whatnot as well. But I route it like this simply because it's easy and it's practical. Um, let me put this on real quick and I'll kind of run you through the procedure of changing air sources in a full face mask with the dual tank valve. All right, guys, so I got my gear on now. And as you can see, the dual tank valve, it hangs right here at my chest. Let me explain something real quick. A lot of you guys have asked me in the past, if you run an alternate air source so that you don't have to change uh, full face mask out, why do you still have an alternate rig? What is its purpose? And this particular one here is still going to my primary air source. It's not a backup <clears throat> as far as my alternate air source goes. But there's a reason I still leave this on here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm coming down with cold. When I teach full face mask diving, uh, we're in a pool typically when we do the skill sets and even during checkout dives. This is my salvage and PSD rig. This is not my um, let's go learn how to use a full face mask rig. So when I do that class, of course, my primary is plugged directly into here. This is my backup at that point. And there's certain skill sets that we must master when you're learning a full face mask, such as pulling it off, going to an alternate air source and putting a traditional mask on, clearing it, and then vice versa. So that's why I leave this one on because this particular reg set is still the same reg set that I use when I teach full face mask diving. So I still leave it on there. It just, it, it prevents me from having to disconnect hoses all the time. But to get back to the point of the video here, I wanna show you how I have this set up. Basically, I have my primary air source and my alternate air source coming to the dual tank valve, which hangs right here. I have another quick disconnect from Ocean Reef here. I got another quick disconnect hose that comes from the output and it basically plugs right in. And if you look close enough, you will notice that there's not that many entanglement hazards. Now, this hose is a little floppy right now, but typically speaking, I'm in my dry suit, which is much bulkier than what I've got on now. And so it, it secures to me. And if you look, there's no entanglement hazard. So I really like this configuration for the practical purpose of what I've used it for. Now, when I put on my full face mask, this very easily just snaps right in there. And I can look left or right, and it's not gonna be getting in my way. Um, I can sit at the surface if I'm waiting for a call out or whatnot. Maybe I'm the backup diver. I can sit in this configuration all day long without the mask on. Uh, even with the mask on, I'm gonna snap it on and show you the mobility that I've got with it. And when I switch gas to, the way I've got it configured is, is if I'm in the top position, I'm breathing primary air. When I push it down, I'm breathing that alternate gas supply or whatnot. 
And it's very easy for me to determine, is it in the up position, down position because of the little lock? I can simply pull out the lock, switch over, stick the lock back in and vice versa. And with it hanging here, I can get to it with either hand, which I truly like. It's easy to operate. The button's very large, so in a dry suit with dry gloves, it's very easy to, to get to it. But let me snap my mask on real quick and show you the mobility that I have, and I'll even show you how I switch gas supplies. So there you go, guys. It's very easy for me to maneuver. I don't have any entanglement hazards. I can look around. I can do what I need to do as a PSD, salvage, or solo diver, and I can very easily switch gas supplies by removing the clip, pressing down, putting the clip back in. Um, and this is how I utilize this. As you can tell, it hangs. Now, this guy is kind of heavy, so having that hose wrapped actually helps me out quite a bit, but it doesn't put too much stress on my neck. Plus, underwater, it doesn't really weigh much. But even if I lean forward, it's not gonna come away from my chest, it, it's, it's there. Um, so this is how I actually utilize the dual tank valve. You use it however it works best for you. Maybe you're using it for side mount or even technical diving, but for my practical purpose of public safety work and salvage work and solo public safety and salvage work, that's exactly how I utilize it. It's a great tool that I use and hose routing is not an issue. Even if I didn't have this hose here, you can see it's nice, it's tied against me, it doesn't create any entanglement hazards, so it works really well for me. But guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope that answered some of your questions about how I route the dual tank valve or my hoses for this. Uh, but if you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. If you like this video, just simply smash that like button for me. Definitely share it. Uh, guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.